Okay, so there are, there are a few different ways you can go about making Ubuntu look like Windows XP. You can do it command line, you know, yourself, or you can run a script somebody's put together just to keep, you know, keep it going faster. We're trying to keep it under three minutes. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, just do a script. So I'm gonna go up, uh, go to Firefox, wait for that to load, and I'm gonna go search for XP GNOME. And you can see it's just the first result there. Going down, he's got some screenshots. Just gonna scroll on down past, uh, past all that to his download link. Download the file. Right. And then I'm gonna just go ahead and open the containing folder. Just unzip the tar. Then it creates that little directory, just open it up. It's, uh, okay. There we go. Um, and then that's the script. So I'm going to open it first, just to show you a little bit. Um, so as you can see, it's, it's written by Frank DeChicken. He's got his website there. And it's pretty much just a series of gconf tools to man. So people are, you know, all the script sends all these commands to gconf tool. gconf tool is a very powerful GNOME editor. Um, it's actually got a GUI. If you go up into the terminal, you can open up gconf editor. And uh, as you can see, that pops open a little GUI. You can go in, you can change the settings um, just like that. Uh, some of them don't work as well though. So gconf tool, a little more powerful. Um, so, you know, as you can see, basically a bunch of that, some copying files and images and stuff like that, but nothing big. So I'm gonna go ahead and just open it. Make sure you don't hit display, you hit run. We'll say.